This video brought to you by Bodega Cooler. Consider a Bodega Cooler for your next RV, overland, or camping adventure. And Liner X. Custom fit floor mats and cargo liners for your car. Check out Liner X for all of your vehicle protection needs. And Fast Wheels, a proudly Canadian alloy wheel brand covering a wide range of alloy wheel styles. Good morning guys, welcome back to Ed's Garage in day 33 of the cross-continental EV road trip. So, this morning we see that we were joined by several campers. It was actually uh, loaded up. I guess we did find a good place last night. Um, it's a pretty cloudy morning. I mean, not up here, but down there it is. How cool is that? We've got some bunny rabbits down here. Oh, there's one right there. You see that? Hey bunny. So today is uh, day 33, as I mentioned. The plan is to find a beach somewhere and hope that uh, Hurricane Hillary doesn't make it all the way up the uh, coast of California. And it's supposed to be hitting San Diego in the next couple of days, but I think we should be all right. It's still pretty early for that. But, but yeah, this is an incredible view. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we'll have to find a charging station first and then... Um, See if we can find a nice beach to spend some time at. We're going to see if we can go to Pfeiffer Beach. But Pfeiffer Beach, there's a really cool spot that's only accessible if the tide is low. And low tide is today at about 6.30 p.m. So um, we'll probably spend some time uh, figuring out where we can camp and whatnot. And then maybe go watch the sunset on the beach or something like that. So, so that's the plan today. All right, just walking down the hill, doing the walk of shame. Just lost my drone off the side here. I had to scramble down about 15 feet, well, maybe 10 feet down off the edge. Some sharp little bushes. Let's see, we're right down there. But I gotta ask, or I gotta say a special thanks to uh, Adam, who's about to drive by here for giving me a lift up the hill and helping me look for the drone. Thanks a lot again. Take care. Yeah. Ugh, gave me a lift up the hill because otherwise I would have had to disconnect from the trailer and whatnot. Oh, yeah, it's so weird though. My battery was at like 60% and I did a little bit of uh, a little bit of fast flying, put it in sport mode, and all of a sudden the battery's dead. And it just just gave up and started forcibly landing and I couldn't stop it. So I tried to get it on the road, but there was also a car coming, so I was trying to get it on the side of the road, but you got about, well, when you're only up in the air about 10, 20 feet, you've got about three seconds to get it down, and that was it. So anyway, all's well that ends well. I got it back. I should probably buy another battery. <laughs> We've made it to Morro Bay, and as you can see behind me is Morro Rock. And then we have this cool family of otters here, so I figured I'd stop and get them on video. They're pretty cute, eh? But uh, yeah, we just decided to have a quick stop here. Somebody at a charging station, some real nice folks, some Dutch folks actually. We were able to talk Dutch with them, and they recommended we come here and check out the otters in Morro Rock. To be honest, we just came for the otters. <laughs> and they also gave us a few other recommendations, so we're gonna check out a few other places as well. But yeah, absolutely beautiful here. And the otters are cute. I like sand dunes. They're nice and hot. Oh, there's a really nice beach over here. 
Oh wow, that's pretty. Soledad, uh, and we are down to 4% charge left. We unfortunately hit a bit of a headwind, and I decided to skip the last charger that was about uh, 30 miles back. So we've got 6 miles of range left. We have to go 1.2 miles, so this is definitely the closest we've been <laughs> to running out of electricity. Uh, but yeah, we have a 3% battery left and uh, we are almost there though so that's good well we uh, made it to the fast charger uh so it was still three percent when we got here so somewhere between two and three of course um it is currently charging at 173 kilowatts which is really nice so you can see here we started at three percent and it doesn't say yet how long it's going to take to get to 80 percent uh, but if there's room we're gonna go beyond 80 percent um, because we do have a lot of driving to do but if uh, if the charging station gets too busy then yeah we'll we'll vacate of course and figure something else out but um, yeah for now we're gonna fill up some water and uh, keep an eye on this because this is the most precarious way that we've charged but yeah, you can you can probably hear the wind on the camera. It's it's crazy windy, and we were just pushing into this wind the whole time. All right, we have made it to Pfeiffer Beach in Big Sur, California, and we're gonna watch the sunset. That should be nice. Salinas, uh, we couldn't find any place to camp, so we decided to just keep driving, and we're now here charging up at an EA station at a Walmart. And for the first time on this trip, and for the first time in my life, we get to see a lucid air in the wild. Check this out. This thing is big. I didn't actually realize how long it was until I see it sitting here. It's a nice car, though. Looks like 21 inch wheels. Yep. Check out the cool little graphic on the uh, the LED lights here. Not graphic, but the effect. It actually does that in the back as well. I noticed while it was charging here. Let's uh, quickly swing around to the back and have a look. That's super cool. Very Knight Rider. <laughs> Got the two tone roof going line, the roof line going on here. Right. And you'll also notice right on the side here. Actually, on both sides, you got the California Bear because it's a California company. Uh, thank you, Eric, for letting me know that because I didn't know. Um, but uh, he's also given me the opportunity to see the inside of this vehicle. So let's check this out. And uh, I don't know how to open it. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> okay. Beautiful leather interior. Let's have a seat. 
Oh. oh, that is comfortable. You can tell this is very uh, uh, real leather, actually, because you can smell it. I like the roof line in this, too. Suede. Big glass roof. The glass actually goes all the way through here. I know it's tough to see. It's a little bit dark right now. We got uh, full center console screen and then full screen going, well actually sorry it's two screens, one going across for the instrument cluster and then the infotainment system right here. We got uh, massage seats on this one as well, beautiful. And we can open up the, the frunk and the trunk here so we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll open them both and we'll jump out and have a quick look. That is, that is a comfortable seat, that, that is really nice. What's that? Yeah, I noticed that too, yeah. And, check it out. Soft close. I don't know if you caught that on video or not, but, uh, oh, big frunk. Look at the size of that thing. Wow, there's a lot of room in there. Let me flip on the uh, light there. Yeah, can't quite see it in, in the dark, dark, dark frunk. All right, but yeah, there's a lot of room in there. It actually does have a safety release mechanism, which of course in uh, America and Canada is required to have a frunk. And as far as the trunk goes, this is kind of nice. So the whole trunk, the top part of it and everything folds up. It's all power, of course. And the, uh, the bumper is actually just above the trunk floor. A little bit of underfloor storage here as well. Oh, I really wish, I really wish it was daytime so I could show you all of this. <laughs> wow. So this is a $150,000 US vehicle. It is absolutely gorgeous. I would take this over the Model S Plaid any day. Wow. All right. Well, I'm going to leave you guys there today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great night.